Well, we're still at the uh, the machine at the section of Discover HP Discover 2016. I have with me now Michael McBride. He's the director of Silicon Design uh, Labs at HP, and he's going to take us through some of the photonics in action on the machine. So please go for it. Okay, thank you, Alexander. One of the uh, key components that we need to enable the machine architecture is uh, photonics. Mm -hmm. And photonics has been around for a long time, but we need to bring it inside the data center. So in order to do that, we need to do it safely, cost affordable way, um, that's easy to use. Yep. So that's what we've been focused on uh, with our product development teams, partnering closely with the lab's research. We come up with an innovative solution that allows us to do that. Sure, and so you've got a demo here we can have a look at? Yes, so uh, what we have here is our what we call our X1 optical module. Mm -hmm. It includes uh, the silicon driver chip, lasers and photo detectors, all packaged together with an easy to use connector that makes it as simple as to connect optics as connecting an ethernet cable. And one of the key pieces of the technology is we're using coarse wave vision multiplexing to send multiple signals down and, and the individual fiber. This gives us a, a, a great improvement in terms of the bandwidth that we can get per fiber, as well as uh, making it more cost affordable. So, and what's on the other screen? Is that more? On the other screen is uh, we've got a live demo running it's with a uh, random data generator this is, this sending an electrical signal to our optical transceiver. We go through 30 meters of cable. We go through an attenuator. We, which actually sends the signal through the air just because we can into another 30 meters of cable into our receiver and back into the test equipment and we've been running 369 terabits of data with one error that we purposely injected just to show that it's it's real and uh, I mean in layman's terms this is like Thunderbolt on like super steroids in a way right it's um, yeah it, it's very fast it's easy to use and it's gonna yeah, well, help this, move the uh, objects into the data the, the full power Okay, any any uh, time frame for it to be more widely used? So this is one of the beauties of the work that we're doing. I'm a product uh, developer. Mm -hmm. As we partner with labs, we had this grand challenge. This is what the machine requires. Yep. And so this is what we were able to come up with, a very innovative solution. Now this will be used in the machine prototype, yep. but we also can now take this IP and leverage it into some of our existing products. You're going to see a lot of the okay, same Michael. program. Thank you very much. Thank side you.